Every now and then I meet somebody who is truly evidence-based, scientific even. They vaccinate their children, they're worried about climate change, the whole shebang. And then we get to talking about GMOs. Do you really know what's in your food? Some say foods with GMO are too dangerous to wait. Huge uptick in cancer, diet-related diseases, gastrointestinal disorders, autism. All of these things could be related to genetically modified foods. GMOs, or genetically modified organisms, are plants or animals that scientists have messed with genetically by swapping some DNA. This allows them to grow less squishy tomatoes or oranges that can survive in the desert and resistance to viruses and pests. Right now in your local supermarket, about 70% of the foods on those shelves contain GMOs. The fact that GMOs are safe is so well established that almost every professional organization in the entire world has already declared it safe in official statements. Over the past 20 years, there have been no less than 1,200 scientific studies published around the world showing that GMOs are safe. And in case you're wondering, the vast majority had no ties to industry whatsoever. And the few studies that suggest that GMOs might not be safe tend to have a problem or two. For example, one infamous study that was published in a major scientific journal showed that rats that are regularly fed GMO corn tend to develop these grotesque cancerous tumors. Turns out that it was entirely fraudulent and the scientists had to republish in an anti-GMO journal that had no peer review whatsoever. Now, if you want to be super safe and not eat GMOs because Monsanto is scary or because 1,200 scientific studies haven't convinced you, that's your choice. But when you start opposing GMO research, you may be putting a lot of people at risk. Right now, around the world, people are starving or malnourished because they don't have access to high nutrient foods. Scientists are already using GMOs to pack nutrients into rice and grow fruits in the desert. So before you disregard two decades of scientific research for some feel-good pseudoscientific myth, it pays to remember that people around the world could seriously benefit from GMOs, and everything you've ever heard suggesting that GMOs are unsafe or untested, that's junk science.